Yo, I'm Mnemonic, Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Using BandLab, there's several ways to edit MIDI. I'm gonna show you how to do that so you can make more music. There are over 200 MIDI instruments available in BandLab. To start in the mix editor up at the top left, click add track and then instruments. There's several ways to input MIDI notes. Down at the bottom left, if you click instrument, you can use the keyboard of your computer or laptop and the letters are on the screen to help you with playing the right notes. You can also plug in a MIDI controller. I did a separate video on that, you can check that out. Or you can go into the MIDI editor. But first, we'll need a region. So I'm gonna close the MIDI editor right now, right click on the actual MIDI track, and then click Create Region. To get back into the MIDI editor, you can either go down to the bottom left and click MIDI editor, or double click on that MIDI region and the piano roll will open up, and now we have options. There's three different tools, the move tool, the pencil tool, and velocity. So I'll just go ahead and click in a few notes using the pencil tool. Feel free to draw in notes as you please. With the move tool, you can move one of the notes that you've already placed. And lastly, the velocity tool. When you click on a note, you'll be editing the velocity of it, which ranges from 0 to 127. To select all the notes, simply click and drag. And then we can randomize the velocity of those notes by clicking random, which will give it a little bit more life and feel. Then there's legato, which basically lengthens those notes, thus smoothing them out a little bit. As you can tell, legato will lengthen the notes until it finds the start of another note, or will lengthen it until the end of the region. Humanize is going to move things subtly to give it just a little bit more of a less robotic feel, and you can keep clicking it to increase the effect. On the flip side of that, quantize is going to line things up back on the grid according to the setting here. Sixteenth note is pretty standard and you can see back on the grid there. And then lastly, we can go up and down an octave with the plus and minus 12, or you can go up and down a semitone or a half step. In BandLab, you can also edit MIDI regions. If you close the MIDI editor, right click on the MIDI region, you'll have a few options available. Pretty self-explanatory, I covered these more in the audio editing video that I did. There's cut, copy, delete, and slice, and then you can also transpose the regions quickly from here. Awesome, now let's check out editing MIDI in the BandLab mobile app. Now the 200 plus MIDI instruments that I mentioned previously are all still accessible in the BandLab mobile app, which is fantastic, but the MIDI editor could use an update. To start, let's tap the add track icon down at the bottom left, and then MIDI instruments. Earlier I downloaded a nylon guitar sound, and that sounded pretty cool. Here's the on-screen keyboard, you can use that to, of course, play the instrument, but I want to focus on the MIDI editor. So at the bottom right there's an icon with a little pencil, we're going to tap that and this will open the MIDI editor, aka piano roll. And this is it, it's very simplistic, what you can do is add notes by tapping, Extend the length of the notes by tap and holding, let me get it right, there we go. And then if you saw that circle, that's for the last thing. If you tap and hold and the circle appears, you can select notes to move them around, up or down or left and right. And then lastly, to delete notes, you just simply tap them you can edit MIDI regions as a whole. So for example, I have my piano track, double tap the region and you'll see cut, copy, slice, loop, delete, edit, and shift. So I would love to see some updates to the MIDI editor in the BandLab mobile app in the future, but it's enough to get things started. All right, there it is. Hit that like button if this video helped you. Comment any questions you have, subscribe for more BandLab tutorials and music making fun I have planned in the future. And lastly, just go make more music 
If you are watching this before the end of January 2020, there may still be time to enter my giveaway. BandLab has teamed up with me, which I am extremely grateful for, to help you make more music. I've said it once, I'll say it again. I'm giving away five audio interfaces, one Link Digital, two Link Digital Duos, the two channel, and then two Link Analog Minis. They're all great audio interfaces, whether you're just getting started or a seasoned music maker, the link is in the description.